Hi, Kirby. How, how are you? Rachel? Good. How are you? Um, to start, so when I saw you as Death, I sobbed the entire time you were on that show. And then I saw you in Sugar, and I was like, this is the most breathtaking I've ever seen somebody look on screen. Because oh. I think it is just such a beautiful show in general. And you, like, I just wanted to be around your character the entire time. For you, you are getting, you know, put into this costume and made up to not only fit the genre, but the style of the show. How does that inform your approach to a character when you do get all, like, specific to the genre and the image they're trying to capture? Well, I think what's really, really special about uh, about Sugar and the aesthetic of Sugar is the reason why it looks so stylish and so sleek and and I think so polished is because every single department is genuinely brilliant and that I mean that from from set design to costume to hair and makeup you know I think every single department has such a strong opinion of this world and of this show and also a really strong understanding of the of the noir that it allows you know what you see as an audience member to feel really refreshing and like you said breathtaking i mean i think that i've never seen a a, a show like it and i think that the way we handle a, a, a noir is both you know we pay homage to it both in the things that are said and the stories but also in the way this show looks yeah, I was going to ask about a noir because I'm a big detective story fan in general, and I think a noir is such a rich, you know, storytelling device that we don't really use as much anymore. We kind of tend to lead just to, like, straightforward detective stories that don't have that edge. Yeah. And when you are working in noir as a genre, what for you is the most fascinating part about getting to dive into a detective story that is so connected to that noir history? You know, the most fascinating side to me is actually, I think that this is one of the most collaborative experiences I've ever been part of, because I think when you are filming, when you come into work each day and you you know the scenes you're gonna film, you're not constantly aware that you're filming a noir. You're not going, I'm, a, I'm in a noir, I'm gonna say the lines like this at all. Your job is to create human connection, to connect with with the, the words, to connect with your co-stars, and to, you know, to adequately portray the human experience that's that's the job and that's what you're doing in every single role it's all about connection but I think the reason why I say it's collaborative is because the element of the noir is something that you kind of have to trust that other people are constantly aware of it's okay. something that your director is aware of that your DP is aware of and then after we're done filming I think so much of the the style and so much of that genre element is added by the editors by the sounds by the mixer and things like that like you know, when I shot, I had no idea of the voiceover that went throughout. And I think that adds such a beautiful touch and also just sort of drops you into this world immediately. You know, you know you're in this genre and you're, you buy into it immediately. And then, I mean, what a beautiful, pleasant surprise it was for me seeing all of that footage from classic film intercut with our scenes because that's not something I ever knew was gonna be part of the show, but it completely adds to it and you, get an idea of both the genre and of Sugar's mindset. Yeah, and speaking of uh, Sugar, it, I love looking at Colin Farrell. I think as yeah. everyone does, it's just, and it, him as a detective is great. What was your favorite part about working with him? Because you guys do have so many close scenes together and getting to understand his approach to this genre. Well, I've been a fan of Colin's for a really, really long time. I think he is one of the greatest actors of our generation. I think that his roles, I mean, I don't think he's ever done two roles that are the same, and he's gone, done everything from like, you know, huge blockbusters to indie film. But I do think that the one thing that all of his projects have in common is that they are meaningful stories and they are high quality. You know, the, the, the commitment he has to each role is clear in everything. So for me, it, it was such an incredible opportunity to work with someone like that, to work with, you know, he's like an actor's actor. And 
we spent so much time together. I mean, almost all of my scenes are with him or alone or with my cat. So we had, you know, so many days on set, like we're doing 10, 12, 14 hour days. And a lot of that is spent sitting around literally just getting to know each other. And I think building a rapport off screen is what allows us to have a chemistry on screen. Yeah, and it comes across so well. But thank you so much for talking with me. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait for people to get to see Sugar. Thank you.